Tiny Luxembourg is the wealthiest country in the world in terms of GDP per capita. In the heart of Europe, Luxembourg offers easy access to markets throughout the region. It's also an ideal hub for many transcontinental transport routes, including rail lines, roads, and maritime shipping routes, despite being landlocked. Strong economic policies in Luxembourg promote business development and foreign investment. There are tax incentives for foreign companies and streamlined immigration procedures for their workers. Luxembourg has a highly skilled and educated workforce. Over half the population holds a bachelor's degree or higher. That's why so many businesses have set up shop in Luxembourg, bolstering its economic growth and contributing to its high GDP per capita. According to the IMF, Singapore is the second richest country in the world in terms of GDP per capita. This is due to Singapore's highly developed free market economy, low levels of corruption, and a business-friendly environment. Since gaining independence in 1965, Singapore has worked hard to attract foreign investment and promote growth, using smart policies such as tax incentives. The tiny city-state also has a thriving manufacturing sector that produces a electronic components and pharmaceuticals, as well as a robust financial services industry. Singapore benefits from its strategic location, serving as a major hub for trade and travel in Southeast Asia. Its port is one of the busiest in the world, handling billions of dollars worth of trade each year. Another factor is Singapore's highly educated workforce. Over three quarters of Singaporeans aged 25 to 64 have completed at least upper secondary education. Almost half have university qualifications. In recent years, the Irish government has invested heavily in education, producing a highly skilled, university educated workforce with a commitment to innovation. Over two thirds of the Irish population aged 15 to 64 four have completed upper secondary education. Almost a quarter have tertiary qualifications. The resulting pool of highly qualified workers is great for businesses in many industries. What's more, Ireland has been extremely successful in attracting foreign investment. It attracts multinational corporations such as Microsoft, Apple, and Facebook, with low corporate tax rates and pro-business policies. Ireland benefits from strong trade ties with other countries, including the United States and the EU countries. It's also one of the world's leading exporters in agriculture, food and drink, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, machinery, and software sectors. 2022's World Cup host Qatar is also the fourth richest country in the world, behind Luxembourg, Singapore, and Ireland. Qatar's riches mainly come from its large reserves of oil and gas. The country has the third largest reserves of natural gas in the world. It's also a major producer of oil. Qatar exports both oil and gas to other countries, which provides a significant source of income. What's more, the Qatari government has invested heavily heavily in education and healthcare, creating a highly skilled workforce. Qatar's government also provides generous subsidies and benefits for citizens, further boosting the high standard of living. Qatar also has a small population compared to other countries, so its wealth is distributed among fewer people. Switzerland is well known for its picturesque mountain villages, world-class skiing, and delicious chocolate. But it's also one of the richest countries in the world, coming in fifth on the list of highest GDP per capita. So why is this tiny alpine nation so rich? Well, for starters, the Swiss economy is highly diversified, with strong sectors in finance, banking, healthcare, and manufacturing. The Swiss also have a long history of political stability and neutrality, making Switzerland an attractive destination for both businesses and individuals wishing to avoid conflict. What's more, doing business is easy in Switzerland, with its low corporate tax rate and efficient infrastructure. Blessed with significant natural resources, Norway easily makes it onto the list of world's richest countries. This Scandinavian heavyweight is famous for its stunning fjords, the Northern Lights, and its sovereign wealth fund, one of the world's largest funds at $1.2 trillion. Thanks to all these advantages, 
Norway has invested heavily in education and healthcare, with great results for its citizens. What's more, Norway's stable government and strong business environment have attracted many foreign investors and entrepreneurs, further enhancing the nation's economic success. From its stunning desert landscapes to its ultramodern skyline, the United Arab Emirates is a country that always manages to impress. But what is the UAE really famous for? Well, for starters, this little desert nation is one of the richest countries in the world, with a GDP per capita of 77,270 US dollars. Rich in oil reserves, the UAE has a diversified economy, including tourism, finance, and construction. The United Arab Emirates also offers many tax benefits for companies and individuals. For example, there's no personal income tax or corporate tax. There's also a value-added tax, VAT, of only 5%. As a result, the UAE is an attractive destination for businesses looking to reduce their tax burden. And finally, the country's construction industry is booming due to the demand for new infrastructure and development projects. In the shattered wake of World War II, the United States emerged as the world's greatest superpower. Ever since then, the country has gone from strength to strength. It now boasts one of the highest GDPs in the world. But in terms of GDP per capita, the U.S. comes in further down the list. That's because it's a much larger country compared to, say, Luxembourg or Qatar. Much of the United States' wealth comes from its abundant natural resources, including coal, oil, gas, timber, and productive farmland. It boasts the world's more advanced military, plus many top universities and innovative companies. As a result, many people around the world dream of starting a new life in the United States, but immigrating there isn't easy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for new updates. It will give me motivation and write your feedback in the comments section.